Well, many of us that you see here on KCAU have a love and passion for providing you with information and, of course, sharing the stories from right here in our communities. The next generation of journalists share that interest and in learning how the industry operates firsthand. KCAU 9 News reporter Marina Bach visited a classroom being recognized for its newspaper and yearbook program. A group of students involved in journalism here at the Dakota Valley High School received a major award from the South Dakota High School Activities Association. A few of those students shared with me exactly what's motivating them to have a career in journalism. I think we flipped this because he has to be facing the gutter. Yeah, I flipped. Anna Michelson has been helping mold young journalists at yeah, Dakota Valley for the past 11 years. I tell my kids, if you like adjectives, you can't be a reporter, right? So often they want to put their point of view on it. I said, no, 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 no. We are objective and we just tell the facts and we'll let people decide. Michelson was a news reporter many years ago, so she knows firsthand what it takes to be a successful journalist. Um, finding out and celebrating the successes in the school district, challenging things will need to be challenged, but in a very non-biased, objective way. Her lessons and mentorship have paid off. It's the first time her journalism staff has received the South Dakota State Journalism Sweepstake Award, which is the highest point total of all state submissions. We, we won this with a staff of five, producing a, a monthly newspaper and a yearbook. It's not just the writing aspect of journalism that set these students apart, but their skills in photojournalism that won them the honor. It's, it's nice to see that we won like an award like that. It's pretty big. Feels feels good. Sean Power was one of the students involved in winning the award. He says this class has been a stepping stone in helping him decide to major in journalism after graduation. It's a challenging industry now because like obviously you have you know it's more political. It feels more political obviously. You know, disputing the fact, fake news, all that. So it's a it's a lot it's a lot more of a difficult industry. Yeah. Journalists have been put through some challenges during the protests around the U.S., but there are still a group of young students eager to be a part of this industry. Learning to write more factual, and so I'll research a lot about anything, and then from that, then I will go and interview them. So then I kind of have background what they'll talk about. And I'm really excited that my students. Despite all the controversy, they want to get out there and tell stories. They want to get out there and meet people. They want to be out there to, to hold people accountable. On Monday, the students that won that Journalism Sweepstakes Award will come together for a conference call where they'll be recognized for those awards as well as learning from professionals that are in the journalism industry. Marina Buck, KCAU 9 News.